Many people have been asking me, how to record your cajon? Today, I'm gonna show you different mic setups I use to record my cajon, and also some tips for you to get the best results from your recordings. Felipe here from cajonmaster.com. I hope you are doing well. Before we get started, do me a quick favor. Hit the like button if you like Cajon tutorials and gear reviews like the one you are about to watch. And if you didn't subscribe to the channel yet, make yourself subscribed. Since I've started this channel, I've been learning and testing different microphones and setups. I'm always trying to improve the sound of my Cajon here in the studio, and after many tries, I'm happy with the results I have today. Before talking about the microphones I use here, there are two important factors that have a much bigger impact in the quality of the audio you will record. The first is the instrument you are recording. If the cajon doesn't sound great from the beginning, it becomes more difficult to get a great audio. The second important factor is the room you are recording. If your room sounds bad, it's too dry or too echoing, for example, there is no point to record with expensive gear it will be more difficult to get good results if your room is not so good. As you can see here in my studio, I've got some acoustic foam on the walls, some isolation in the ceiling and in the floor. And depending on the sound I'm looking for a particular project, I also use a drum rug to dry up a little bit. I have built the interior of this room according to the sound of my cajons. So let's get started now with the recording setup. First thing, of course, the Cajon. I'm using for this video one of my favorite Cajons, the Minor Artisan Cantina line. The audio interface I use here is the Focusrite Scarlett 18i8. that has a very clean sound. And the audio editing software I use is the Logic Pro. I will start first with the one mic setup. The microphone I use in the front of the Cajon, the AKG C3000. This is a condenser microphone that works great for the high pitch lap tones. This is my go-to if I have just one option, if I'm gonna use just one microphone. It costs around $280. The second setup is with two microphones, the AKG condenser mic in the front, and now I add a Dynamic Shure Beta 52 in the back of the Cajon. This microphone is a standard microphone for bass drum, for a drum kit bass drum. Because of that, the placement is in the back hole to get all that low end of the bass tone. It costs $189. Setup number three, now with four microphones. In addition to the other two mics, I will add two overhead microphones to get a stereo sound from the Cajon and also the room sound. This is the Behringer C2 microphone. This is a very affordable pair of overhead microphones that does the job well. It comes as a pair and it costs around $120. 
this setup is the actual setup I'm using in my latest YouTube tutorials and in the upcoming Cajon Master Courses. And that's it. I hope you like these setups. Those are suggestions that you can apply for your recordings. I highly recommend you to start with one microphone and do experiences with that. Position it in the front or in the back of the cajon and try to get the best sound according to the room you are. I have included the links of all the microphones and the audio interface I'm using in this video in the description below, in case you want to buy it. Please share with the others your mic setup for recordings in the comment section below. I'd love to know more about it. If you are interested in start playing Cajon, you can check out my free Cajon starter course, link in the description below. And I would like to say that the new intermediate courses at CajonMaster.com are ready, and I can't wait to share them with you. Don't worry, very soon I will announce the official release date. Stay tuned here on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. To receive all the information about the new courses, I suggest you, I highly suggest you to subscribe to the new courses list, link in the description. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to receive notifications of new videos. Thank you so much for watching the video. I'll see you very soon in the next one. Bye.